Hey everyone, Dollistic here, and today, uh, I am so excited for this doll. I've been waiting for her for months, ever since they got leaked, because I feel like it's been an eternity since they got leaked, but I finally have Lilac Lane. Yes, I love her so much. Without even having taken her out of the box yet, I love her so much. I love her tall body. I love her outfit. I love her hair. I love her make. I love her accessories. Like, I cannot get over this doll. I'm so happy to finally have her. She got leaked so long ago, and I, like, ugh. I'm just, ugh. I'm so happy to have her. And I love, like, the color palette she is. Everything about her is just perfect. Let's take a look at this packaging. So, Lilac Lane is part of the, um, I think it's called the New Friends line. Yeah, oh. Duh, it's right there. The new friends line. So it's her, Pinkly Page, and Blue Brooks. They all have differing body types from each other and from the rest of the Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls. And Lilac happens to be the one that is on the tall body. So here is her packaging. It's a brand new packaging design. It's very interesting. It's a big, wide open window. It reminds me a lot of the new OMG packaging, actually, now that I think about it. We've got the doll here, her name. And then all of her extra accessories. I don't think there's anything in here. I think it's just, like, for show. But yeah, and then it's got the fun, like, Rainbow High um, bumpers. Is that what they're called? I don't know what they're actually called. But these, like, gold pieces that are on the corners. That used to be real on some packaging but isn't anymore, which is kind of sad. But that's okay. Um, nothing on this side. You've got her design. You've got her focus on this side. She has a fashion design focus. That's interesting. She comes with, like, science-y stuff. That's not what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting something similar to Natasha, where it's, like, makeup science. Hmm, interesting. Okay. She's even, like, playing with science-y stuff over here, so why is she a fashion designer? Anyway, it doesn't matter. But here is the artwork of the three girls on the back. They all look so adorable. I kind of love all of them. Like, they're really cool. I'm loving the new body types. And then it says, no matter their differences, friends are forever at Rainbow High. Oh, that's so sweet. And that is everything with her packaging. Let's get her out. So I'm going to go in from this side. Okay. I'm not really worried about messing up her box because I do plan on getting multiples of her. <laughs> Let's get Miss Thing out. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so she's got one attaching her skirt and her sleeve. Let's see, where else are they? None there. Ooh, hate that. Okay. Ooh, really don't like that one. Okay. And then... Um, I'm gonna go off camera to get the rest of the ones in her hair out, and I'll be right back. My god, <laughs> this is so mean to you. I'm so sorry, girly. Um, I'm gonna get her stand out so I can put her on the shelf. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But this... <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Except for this one. This was like this. <laughs> her box that is so bad oh that's funny i ran my fingers through it to sort of unclump the ones in the front and it's mostly fixed this back part so i probably won't be washing it um but there is a lot of gel here like in the part line and at the front hairline it's actually very weird it's also so unnecessary to put gel in the hairline because it it's not going anywhere so here's our comb to start it's the same rainbow high comb that comes with pretty much every rainbow high doll in a pretty lilac color with this like pinkish purple glitter her stand which is the same color with the glitter and i think it's a typical rainbow high stand i don't think it's any taller than the normal ones i guess i could have gotten one to compare before i came over here but i didn't do that so <laughs> let's get her on all right. Now it does fit. She does fit quite a bit higher on the stand than I think most of them do. Like she's very near the top. But of course she's still on a stand and stable and that's what we like to see. So now that she's together, let's get a close up. And starting with the hair like we always do. 
Ah, oh, her hair is so pretty. It is a ton of hair in these beautiful ringlets in a gorgeous like lilac and orchid color. You can see it's a blend of two different purples, a lighter and a more red purple. Very pretty. She does have baby hairs. Now, I wouldn't say they necessarily match the hair color, but I think they're close and they give a nice effect. And she's, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. I hate that there's like gel right here because like it's making some of the head look strange. Ugh. And I can't exactly brush through these without ruining them. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about the gel. We'll see. <laughs> And for her makeup, she has these very soft brown eyebrows. It's interesting. Like, they are just, they are very soft. Almost not there. It's, it's nice. And then she has this very pretty lilac eyeshadow. It's actually a, a mixture of three different purples. It's like a lilac, a very light purple, and then a, like, darker, smoky purple. Of course, the typical eyeliner, and she does have glitter going from the inner corner of her eye up around the eyeliner in, like, a purple and blue reflect. She, of course, has the <laughs> infamous blurple rainbow high eyes. I kind of wish they had leaned more heavily into the purple for her. Like, there's, you see there's, like, a purpley right there. Like, lean more into that for her eyes so that it kind of makes sense with the color palette they're going for instead of the, like, blue. Now, mind you, in person... They do look more purple. Your eye, like, tricks you into thinking it's more purple, but on camera here, like, you can see they're blue. There are purple and pink accents in the eye, but, like, you can see it's blue. <laughs> and she has a nice, a, like, light berry red lip color. I wonder if they're, like, I don't think they're as overdrawn on the top as they usually are, because it kind of looks like the mold has a bit more space on the top lip. I don't know if it's just me, or maybe I haven't noticed it on the other Rainbow High dolls. And I'm trying to think of who she looks like like, whose head sculpt she shares. It's kind of giving Mina to me. I don't know. I, I don't know. And then her earrings. They are these big pearls with little gems at the bottom in a pretty light purple. And they are the same on both sides. Oh, there we go. Down to her top, she has on this adorable cable knit sweater. It's so cute. And it's a little, like, oversized in the arms to give it that, like, cozy appearance. It is a very light purple with these, with these, like, square, round, and oval cut gems decorating the front. And Rainbow High is stitched in gold, and then there's also these, like, little pearl accents. And they're also along the sleeves here. This is really impressive. It's also impressive that it doesn't look like any of them have fallen off yet, which is rare. <laughs> And they do continue on to the back. Nice. And she seems to have a collar here, but I don't think that's a separate piece because you can see that it's, like, sewn up in the back. So it's just a collar for the sweater to make it look like she has something on. Oh, I'll, I'll double check. Now, why is that tea tied together? Okay, no, there's nothing underneath. But that's okay, because it looks good as it is. And for her manicure, she has the, like, mid-length acrylics in this light purple... Um, the painting is a little off on some fingers, but I'm used to that. <laughs> you really shouldn't expect perfect fingers on these dolls. <laughs> and for her bottoms, she is wearing this adorable pleated purple plaid skirt. It's so good. I love a pleated skirt, obviously. And of course, it matches perfectly with her vibe. It's so cute. It honestly looks like it should be higher up on the body, but there's a... Ooh, oh, there's a layer underneath. Interesting. Um, but I think that's holding it back from going up higher like I think it should. So I think I'm going to change that after I finish this video. And then for the last part of what she's wearing, she does have these stockings that go all the way up to basically mid-thigh. And they are the white stockings that Rainbow High is known for. We all love them. And of course, last but not least, her shoes. They are really interesting. We have not seen these shoes before. They are so cool. They have this, like, white sole with a silver heel. It's pointed at the front. It's got a silver strap and cords. And on the strap, at both the heel and the toe, it's got these, like, purple gems molded on and painted. It's really interesting. She seems to love her gemstones. And you can even see, like, on the toe here that they've done that really interesting. 
You can also see that it was cast in that purple material and the silver is painted on top. So there are quite a few defects in a few different places. But I actually think that's okay because if this silver comes off, one, it's super easy to repaint and fix. And two, honestly, it would still work perfectly with the outfit if this wasn't painted silver. So I think that works nicely. Is it just me or is this base kind of small? I'm just now noticing it. Hold on, let me get a rainbow high doll. Um. Okay, so looking at Olivia's, no, no, I don't think so. Also, is it the same height? Curious. Oh. Interesting. Hold on, let me zoom out and I'll show everyone. So if you... <laughs> let me pick up both of their hairs. So you can see she definitely has a higher stick. Interesting. So that means they definitely made a new stick mold for her at least. Now that still looks bigger. Hold on. Olivia. <gasps> oh, wait. No, they're the same. Okay. Olivia's tummy. And that is everything that Miss Lilac is wearing. Now let's get into our extra accessories. First up, we have her purse in this very, very soft purple, almost pink leaning with Rainbow High painted in silver on the front and these little white pearls painted around. And then you can see on the strap that it's been painted silver. And then it has a silver chain as an attachment. Her glasses, and I do believe they're glasses and not like sunglasses because they have the clear lenses. And then the rims and arms are painted in that soft purple with these white gemstones. I'm going to put these on her. They are kind of warped from the packaging, so I don't know if they're going to fit great. I might need to, like... Yeah, these are not going to go on her head. Right. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, they are extremely warped from packaging. So they do not want to sit on her face. I know they look kind of normal right now, but I promise you that... Anyway, you can see they fell. Um... The arms are really warped. I think I'm going to try to put these in some hot water so they go back into shape. I don't know. I don't know if that'll be safe for the paint. I guess I'll have to find out. Next up, we have her diary and a little pencil. I believe both of these are the same mold as the diary that came with Scarlet. You can see that it's got that, like, rainbow pattern that we see in a lot of Rainbow High products, but in this nice soft purple with these silver bumpers. It says rainbow in on the... says rainbow on the side in silver... And it is a blank slate waiting for her to write in. And her purple pencil with a little finger hold. Nice. For the last of her extra accessories, she has her science equipment. So here we have a, is it a beaker? An Erlenmeyer flask? I don't know. It's been a long time since, <laughs> since I took any science courses. But it's really cool. You can see it's actually got the measurement markings on the side. And it looks like it has liquid in it. That's so fun. And then my favorite of her extra accessories. Wait, are these beakers? What are these? Oh, God. I don't remember science, y'all. I'm so sorry. They are little scientific things, containers, and they do say Rainbow High on them. And they do have the Rainbow High RH on them. They're in clear acrylic with this purple holder. Uh, that is, so I love this. That is my favorite accessory, like, ever. And that's everything that Lilac comes with. I do want to take a second to appreciate the box insert. Like, you can see all of these fun, like, science equipment pieces. Like, th is that a beaker? And that's an Erlen I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments. Science people, help me. You see a microscope. Like, equals MC squared. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I love this. This is so fun. But yeah, that is everything that Lilac comes with. I am so extremely satisfied by her. Um, if I remember correctly, her retail price point is the same as Series 5 of Rainbow High, $26.99. And I have to say, I think she is totally worth it in like every conceivable way <laughs> because she is amazing. Oh, I should probably compare her to the normal Rainbow High body. Hold on. Since I just got Kim, I'll put her beside so you can see the height difference. You know, I did have Olivia over here and you could probably see it then, but... You can see there is a significant height difference in Lilac and the regular Rainbow High dolls by, like, quite a bit, like, a whole forehead higher. <laughs> she is a very, very tall girl. You, yeah, she's just a really, really impressive doll, and I love her so much. I also think she might be a little bit thinner than the normal Rainbow High dolls because she's elongated. I'm not sure, but I don't, 
I don't really care. <laughs> to be completely honest, I don't care. I just love that she's taller. And like I said, I plan on getting multiples of her because she is incredible. I love her so much. I love all of her pieces. I love her hair, her makeup, her extra accessories are even impressing me, which is kind of rare. And yeah, I'm just in love with her. I'm gonna be real, I don't have anything negative to say. I think she's perfect from top to bottom. I mean, sure, the paint coming off the shoes is a little disappointing, but I'm also used to that because that just happens with applied paint. Like, it just is what it is. I'm really impressed that none of these seem to have fallen off. Perhaps because it's on, like, an actual, like, easy to apply these things to fabric and easy for them to hold on to. I found then w that when it's a fabric more like this, where it's like, porous isn't the word, but it's got more like texture, these applied pieces are way more likely to stay on than if you're putting them on like pleather or something like that. So I think that's a really good thing. But yeah, let me know down below what you think of Miss Lilac. Do you plan on getting her? Do you have her already? Are you excited for her? Because I think she's sort of universally loved by the Rainbow High fan base. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, do none of them. But if you do, we get to do fashion science together, whatever that means. <laughs> oh yeah, missed opportunity to make her some sort of like makeup science focus. Like you give her all this science equipment and then say she's a fashion design focus. Like what? No, come on now. This is a science girl. She does science. She she does experiments. Good ones. She's making the world a better place. <laughs> Like, if someone's finding a cure for cancer, it's this girl. <laughs> I put out new videos every Monday and Friday for the most part. So I will see you in the next one, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.